Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Maximus IV. Whereas today, we're going to take a deep dive and very honest look at the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance is a 32-bit handheld game console, which was developed and manufactured by the Nintendo as the successor to the Game Boy Color. It was re-released, it was released on March 21st of 2001 in North America on June 11th, 2001. In the PAL region of June 22nd, 2021, and in mainland China as IQUE Game Boy Advance. On June 8th, 2004, the Game Boy Advance is a part of the sixth generation of video game consoles. The original model was followed in 2003 by the Game Boy Advance SP. Redesigned model with a frontline screen in clamshell form factor. A newer revision of the SP with a backlit screen was released in 2005. A miniature redesign, the Game Boy Micro, was released in September of 2005. As of June 10th, as of June 2010, 81.51 million copies of the Game Boy Advance have been produced worldwide. Its successor was the Nintendo DS, which was released in November of 2004 and is backward compatible with Game Boy Advance software, unlike the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color, which have the portrait form factor designed by Gunpai Yokoi. The Game Boy Advance has a landscape form factor, putting the buttons to the sides of the device instead of below the screen. On the sides instead of below, it was designed by the French designer Gwenaille Nicolas and his Tokyo-based design studio Curiosity Incorporation. News of successor to the Game Boy Color first emerged at the Space World Trade Show in late August of 1999, and it was reported that two new handheld systems were in development, an improved version of the Game Boy Color with wireless online connectivity codenamed the Advanced Game Boy, and a new 32-bit system set for release. The following year, on September 1st of 1999, Nintendo officially announced the Game Boy Advance, revealing details about the system's specifications including online connectivity through a cellular device and an improved model of the Game Boy Camera. Nintendo teased, Nintendo teased that the handheld would first be released in Japan in August of 2000, with North American and European launch dates slated for the end of the same year. Simultaneously, Nintendo announced a partnership with Konami to form Mobile 21, which was a development studio that would focus on creating technology for the Game Boy Advance to interact with the GameCube, Nintendo's home console, which was also in development at the time with the codename Dolphin. On August 21st of 2000, the IGN showed images of a Game Boy Advance development kit running a demonstrational port of Yoshi's Story on August 22nd. Pre-production images of the Game Boy Advance were revealed in Famitsu Magazine in Japan on August 24th. Nintendo officially revealed the console to the public with the Japanese and North American launch dates and 10 launch games. The Game Boy Advance was then featured at Space World 2000 from August 24th of 2020. At Space World, the Game Boy Advance was then featured at Space World 2000 from August 24th to 26th, alongside several peripherals for the system, including the Game Boy Advance Link cable, which was a plug into the GameCube. The Game Boy Advance Link cable was a rechargeable battery pack for the system and an infrared communications adapter which would allow systems to exchange data. In March 2001, Nintendo revealed details about the system's North American launch including the suggested price which was supposed to be $99.99 and is launch games. 
Nintendo estimated that around 60 new games would be released by the end of 2001. The size of the Game Boy Advance is approximately 145 by 82 by 24 millimeters, which translate to 5.7 by 3.2 by 9 by 0.94 inches in America. In the screen, it's a 2.9 inch screen, and it is powered by two AA batteries, and there is a built-in memory kit that has 32 kilobytes. Now that I've shared with you guys pretty much the history of the Game Boy Advance, let's do a bit of a demo in how this thing starts up and works. Okay, so it's looking like you have your on and off switch right here. You have your volume dial that's right there. There's also an option to plug in headphones right into this port if you don't want to disturb people. You have your A and your B button right here. Um, you have your little speaker that's going to make the noise right here. Your cross, your start, select buttons. And then you have your two trigger buttons that are on top right here. And this looks like that's the charging port. And the game that we're going to test today is Mother 3, which was never even released in the U.S. Mother 3, for those of you that do not know, is part of the Earthbound uh, story. So it's an RPG, it's not like a direct action, you get pulled into this uh, menu where you're forced to fight, where you take turns doing hit for hit. And this is the legendary final battle against, you got Lucas, the main character, and the masked man, but I will not spoil who that is, or will I? So basically, you just have to be on guard the entire time when you're fighting him, because it's impossible to hurt, uh... Claws, which is basically your brother. I'm just going to spoil it. I don't care.
So you guys get the point. That's pretty much it for the Game Boy Advance. And if you guys are watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to share this video. And if you can, make sure to leave a comment down below to help boost the algorithm. Maximus the Fourth here. I'm signing out. And I thank you guys for watching.